Hey guys, welcome to day five of Fired and Free. Today was a great day. I got to go out to uh, Knoxville and spend some time with my old buddies from work. If you guys are watching this, hi, and uh, thanks for being awesome. Yeah, thanks for being supportive. Yeah, um, I'm gonna miss not working with you guys every day, but I know I know we'll still uh, we'll still talk to each other, we'll still see each other. It just won't be as often. So it's good to know. I didn't get any video of the meeting, but you didn't really miss a whole lot anyway. We don't usually have deep conversations or anything, so not a whole lot to cover there. But the rest of the day, uh, I spent a lot of time out in Knoxville just running errands, and uh, I, went, I went to Costco. It was very exciting. And took lunch to my wife, so I got to see her. So that was different. I don't normally see her during the week either, so that was fun. So today was largely uneventful as far as the farm goes but we did have some fun doing something unique that we've done a couple times but I don't think most people have done and it involves goats and something that looks like maybe a wheatgrass smoothie but is definitely not a wheatgrass smoothie so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and start those clips and I think I think you'll get a kick out of it and we get a wonderful cameo from my beautiful wife, Erin, who you'll see very soon here on screen. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, sun's going down on uh, day five, but I have my lovely wife here um, who is going to explain something pretty cool that we're doing with the goats. Uh, they, they had to be dewormed, and they are having some trouble, and so um, we're doing something pretty fancy called transphenation. Did I say that right? Yes. I said that right. So, Here's my beautiful wife, Erin, and she's going to explain what we're doing. Take it away, Erin. So I should start this with, I am a veterinarian, <laughs> and this is not something everybody should do at home, but it is something that you can have done if your goat is having a little trouble and getting over uh, scours, cyria, whatever you might call it. Um, the technical term, as Jeff said, is transpination. And what it is, is we take the rumen juice of a healthy ruminant. And this comes from a cow that they keep up at the vet school that's by us. Um, the, they collect it through a special portal. Sometimes you can get it from butcher shops, uh, stuff like that. Some vets collect it from um, places post-mortem. But they, then you kind of don't know what the cow's condition was that it came from. But it's least better than nothing, and if it's a last-ditch effort to get your goat over diarrhea, then it's worth it. And again, it's usually not that expensive for your veterinarian to come out and do. How much uh, are we talking? Uh, under a hundred dollars. Okay. So this is the golden nectar of Ruby the cow. <laughs> As you can. It's not a wheatgrass smoothie. Oh yeah. And here. That's the that's the digestive juices happening right there. So. Oh no! Oh, it doesn't normally do that. So this has been closed up a little too long. Oh goodness! The bacteria in there have made quite a bit of gas. Mm. So that is why cows burp a lot. Oh. And fart a lot. And just for the folks watching, that smells wonderful. There is an odor. <laughs> so what we are going to do is I'm going to tube the goat. Um, which means I'm going to pass a uh, smooth coated tube through her mouth, down her esophagus, into her rumen. Yeah. I have a safety gag that I'll put in her mouth so she can't chew through the tube. And once that's in, there's several steps to verify that it's in. Again, your vet will do that and they should know how to do that. Mm. Um, we, I'll then start pouring this through a funnel and it's running down my fingers. Oh, that's gross. Disgusting. Let's get that close um, up. <laughs> into, directly into her rumen. When it's done, I kink the tube, pull it out quickly, and send her on her way. And now all the bacteria that have been oh, destroyed no. <laughs> by, for whatever uh, are replenished, and hopefully her digestive system will be back on track. It's kind of like activia for goats. Yeah, all right. So no more diarrhea is, is the point. Any uh, any other fun facts? How's that? Uh, it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Needs to stay warm. <laughs> all right. Well, all thank you now. very much. Gigi kind of turned into a fainting goat here. 
uh, on the ground, but <laughs> she's just fine. I just wanted to show you guys. This is a syringe case that I use as a gag. It's a good size for goats. I think this is a 60cc syringe case. Um, oh, sorry, Gigi. This is the tube that gets past. So this goes in her mouth, and then that passes through there, down her esophagus, and the funnel on the end in which to pour the rumen fluid. So you will need about seven showers afterwards, <laughs> yeah. and probably won't don't want to go to any public events <laughs> for the next week. But again, hopefully she'll be feeling much better by tomorrow. Yeah and having some nice pellets. Absolutely. All right. Good night. <laughs> Good night indeed. All right, guys. I'll see you in a bit.